Pisces, welcome back to Intuitive Energies. My name is Jane and today I'm going to be doing a beautiful healing blessing for you um, on this beautiful Sunday. <clears throat> so this is the week where I looked at all the things that you can surrender in your life to make it better and let's see what spirit has to say. So I'm going to be pulling different cards from the Power of Surrender. <clears throat> And whatever applies to you or whatever you feel applies to you at this point, this will be your personal message from Spirit. They're taking into consideration everybody who watches this channel, everybody who will be watching, who are coming around to look, who might stumble upon this video. And we're going to start now, Pisces. Please, Spirit, give a message to beautiful Pisces. Help them on their way, give them a beautiful healing or a blessing. Surrender to what is. Flow with what is instead of fighting it. When you can't change a situation, compassionately accepting it exactly as it is will bring you peace. The message as well, Pisces, is what I'm getting from this card, is to surrender also to the present moment. Um, what is, is also surrendering to, um, to letting go of the what ifs, okay? Because a lot of us like to live, especially in this last week, we've been looking at how we get to the end, how we get to the end goal, how that looks, what that feels like. But right now, maybe you just need to take a moment to be of the moment. Surrender to your intuition. That's also come up this week. Tune into your inner voice. Be aware of any gut feelings, flashes, knowings, or haha moments that come through to guide you. We've been talking about um, at that as well this week. It's like um, there was a, a day specifically about... I, I can't remember now, but it's in one of the videos. It's like, oh my God, and it came from this deck that I'm going to be using, the Sacred Creators. So, <clears throat> um, yesterday we were also looking at the fact that you need to break in between the work. And this is bringing in your surrender to your intuition. Okay? It's telling you that in those moments, you will be able to tune into your inner voice a lot better when you take a break in what you're doing, okay? All right, so let's see what else we can bring in here. Surrender to silence. In quiet meditation or contemplation, let go and enter the stillness within. Silence can heal and replenish you. Again, taking a break, taking a moment. Remember, the Queen of Cups was in reverse yesterday. It's telling you don't, um, don't forget to meditate, okay? Don't forget those moments of just being in your quiet self, okay? One more spirit, please. Surrender the habit of people-pleasing. Speak your needs and be true to yourself. Focus on your own happiness instead of always trying to make everyone else happy. Yeah, messages that have come in a lot, okay? Present moment, intuition, silence, people-pleasing. I think this is going to apply to many of you. I think from what I'm hearing is that some of this, you're going to be applying not just one. This healing is for some of you. All of these cards are going to apply in your life right now. Okay? All right. What else is coming in? Yeah. The purple in this card is speaking to me of you, Pisces. Okay? It's time to take care of yourself. You. You, Pisces. You, my beautiful violet-colored purple colored being, okay, of light. It is time for you to take care of you, okay. It's 
not always about taking care of other people. If you are unhappy with yourself and your life and you're not taking enough time to take care of you, you're not doing nobody any favors because you're going to, um, <clears throat> your fuse will become, you'll be burning the candles at both ends is what I'm trying to say and there will be nothing left for anybody. Not just yourself, but anybody around you. You're just going to be too tired, too, uh, completely, I, I'm seeing like a, a little life energy, like slowly, um, uh, just oozing out of my body. So you need to really, um, go in the moment. And if there's stuff going on around you, that conflict card that came in, it's time for you to step out of that, okay? Free yourself. If you look at this picture, she's actually just freeing herself, okay? Letting the air in. Fresh air. I had a lot of uh, fresh air coming in. I'm realizing this last night. There was no reason for it. My house was closed. It's cold. But for some reason, I was in laying down and I could feel a refreshing breeze. You know, that breeze, that spring breeze that you get. And it was, I felt it was very strange, but I was enjoying it very much. So um, I feel, when I look at this card, I feel this breeze again. So it's telling you just let peace in, let the fresh air come in to your life. Okay, give yourself time. Surrender your intuition. Just really listen to it. Surrender to silence. Again, you need to be silent at time. You need to give your mind a break and your surroundings a break to let other things in, okay? And absolutely take care of yourself. So I'm going to take some of these Sacred Creator Oracle cards for each Pisces. How many? Two? Two? For each. We'll see. Okay. What would you like them to know? To surrender for what is... Flow with the what is. Live one moment at a time. Okay. Look at that. Fierce serenity and rise. Uh, again, I'm feeling like she's, you know, it's, it's like the wind's taking her up. You see these wings? That breeze, that air, air energy coming in. Okay? I want you to really... Take that time to go within yourself, Pisces, and really make yourself first. Take the moment to let yourself get aired out. Um, they're showing me putting an old carpet that's weighed down full of dust and just putting it out and shaking all the dust out of it and letting it get air and the, the you know, like all the old smells out of it. That's what I, it's weird to say that, but that's what I feel here, okay? Be fierce about it as you would, you know, really shake a carpet hard, okay? Because they're saying shake yourself really hard, make it a priority to be in the now, to shake off all of that stuff that's holding you down and really freeing yourself, Pisces. That's that's what I feel with this card. I feel like oh, I finally just was able to take a very deep breath. And that's what they wanted you to do. Take a deep breath. Know that spring's around the corner. Know that you can start taking that deep breath in to you, Pisces. Okay? That feels very good in this card. Very, very good. So let's pull some tarot for this one. I pulled my mother's deck. I feel her very peaceful energy today. <clears throat> Plus, like I said, I feel the air. She was uh, a Libra, so I'm feeling the air of it. Okay, so this got the Two of Crystals. It's balance and adaptability. Okay. Right. Adapt to your situation. Flow with what is instead of fighting it. Adapt to it. Adapt to the situation. But I feel that adapting right now is very much that just flowing in the air. Letting the air in. Okay? I feel a lot with breath in this card. I feel a lot that some of you have been breathing shallow. 
And I feel that you need to rebalance yourself by taking in a deep breath when letting it out. So if this is you, if you feel like you've been like that, that you haven't really um, used your your thoracic, oh, the big word, um, the, the lung capacity, okay? Just really expand and let it out, okay? If you can, open a window if the air is not too cold for you to breathe in. Just change the air. Change the air in the room. Change the air in your lungs. Just feel yourself just release. Breathe in the good. Let out the bad. Okay? And adapt. <clears throat> I feel like this kangaroo is bounding. But he, I feel like his lung power is, is helping him bound. You know, like he's got a lot of power to him. And the, the bigger the breath, the more he can bound higher, okay? The more he can adapt to his environment. He's just... I'm feeling it a lot. I'm feeling that a lot. Let's see. This is telling me that you've been keeping more than one ball in the air as well. And you just need to take time, right? the ten of shells, to look at your blessings and take care of your well-being. This is your well-being. This is you taking the time to really breathe in and take it in, okay? <clears throat> right. For a lot of us, I feel that this is an expansion as well of the times that we've been living in. Living in. We have been so breathing in so much stuff, like just shallowly waiting for life to reopen. And I think that for some of us, it's starting to reopen now. So that deep breath of <sighs> resuming, okay, that breath of hope and renewal. So this one is for you. I hope that this resonated for some of you. The next one is intuition. This is beautiful. Ta tune in to your inner voice. Be aware of any gut feelings, flashes, knowings, or ha-ha moments that come through to guide you. Again, I feel like I've seen this before uh, from this week. You need the time to let intuition come in. Okay, you can't be so busy that you're never putting you that you can't lift your head up, literally to the last chakra. Okay, to to your third eye chakra to look up. If you're always looking down, it's saying you need to meditate. You need to release. Okay, these will probably be very well um, suited to one another. Please, Spirit, give me some healing, some advice, suggestions for beautiful Pisces to how to surrender to their intuition at this time. Especially if they've, yeah, lost connection. The now. They've been talking a lot about that, even in this one, and I was talking about that just, just now. Okay? Look at it now. And there's the eye, okay, and a time clock. I, I. Surrender to right now. Okay, um, don't think to yourself, I'll take time to you know, meditate later, do it right now. Okay, while you have the time, while you're thinking of it, do it now. Limitations inspire innovations, right, exactly. Um, but again, I feel like I heard that, and it's in the same color spectrum. It's very much of the mind. But if your mind is always busy with something, I feel that you're never going to have those innovative ideas to be inspired. Okay? You need to take time now to sit with your intuition so that the limitations can be uh, lifted and that your innovations can come through. It's a seven. You have the assessment. Okay? 
this one is 11, the now. A very uh, tapping into your intuition, tapping into your angel guides. Yeah. <clears throat> so this is for some of you who have been like putting off. Um, you've just been too busy. You've been too busy with life to take care and take time to listen to your intuition. Okay. Four of Feathers, Sanctuary, and Rest. There you go. They're telling you it's time to take a rest, Pisces, okay? It's time to take a rest. It's time to go in that sanctuary, take that self-isolation, that hermit moment, to just see things in a different way. In between your work, you need rest. Absolutely. You need to take time to just be. The Traveler, Abundance, Potential, right. When you wander aimlessly with nothing in sight, they're, they're bringing in the Fool card because when you are a fool, you, usually it's an innocent beginning. There is no real set plans. You just know you're going somewhere. But it leaves a lot of time to wander on the path without too much concentration or focus on everything that's coming up. You're living in the now. If nothing else, you're living in the right now. It offers a lot of time to bring insight, inspiration, and intuition to your life, okay? It knocks down all the limitations, and it lets you really see things for what they are. This is when intuition comes at its best. This is when your inner guidance system really, really kicks in, Pisces. So if you have been too busy recently, this card is telling you to take the time if you really want to tap into your intuition or if that's the question you've been asking. How, why am I not tapping to my intuition as much as before? You may have been just a little too busy recently just trying to get all the ducks in a row and get everything done and you haven't been giving yourself enough downtime to connect. Okay, so the next one is surrender to silence. And in quiet meditation or contemplation, let go and enter the stillness within. Silence can heal and replenish you. So this is really about taking a quiet moment. The void that we were talking about last week when the card came in. Going into that quiet nothingness of space. Okay. It's, it's rarely quiet very long, but silence is definitely a key of getting a lot coming in for you. Right. So I like that and the spark of hustle. So they're telling me right here, and I felt that, is by going in nature, the green card right away, spoke of nature, the creator of earth. When they say when you wander, when you're silence in nature, um, a spark will come in. Okay. It's like I said, I feel that these are very connected. Intuition, ideas, everything will come in when you give yourself the time to be silent. Okay? Let yourself think of nothing, even if it's for a moment. That empty space that you create in the now is giving you room. It's giving room to spirit, to ideas, to inspiration to come through. Okay? And it's going to make you hustle again. It's going to give you your next point of going towards. Okay? Alright. So this went away. The Justice card. Yes, it came in all week and here it is again. Truth and clarity. Also in silence, you get a lot of truth and clarity. And time to decompress. I'm hearing that some of you are afraid to be silent or in the nothing because um, things come up for you in the silence. Um, emotional. Bubbling of emotions. Um, yeah. It's okay to let the tears flow sometimes, Pisces. It's a release. A release is good. You can release in the silence. When you do release in the silence, you can get a lot more going for you. These cards don't want to stay on this table for the silence. You have five, the shaman. Divine wisdom and spiritual power. Yeah. 
Um, the Shaman 5 is the Hierophant card in the regular Tarot. My regular Tarot is the Hierophant is about releasing the old, letting the new. And releasing the old may be releasing old emotions. So some of you here for this card, what I'm hearing is that if you feel that when you go in silence or alone in the void, you're afraid um, of what will come true. Because you may have been burying feelings and not really dealing with them. Or thoughts of fears. But you know, if you face it head on, if you bring it to the forefront and you let your emotions react to it, as in having a good cry, and I've had a good cry when something's been on my mind and I just it's just rattling around in there for weeks and weeks and weeks. And sometimes, yes, it has been weeks and weeks and weeks. Especially health or, you know, my journey or something that I just can't really... I can't guarantee or have no answers to. But it's just there. By, by going in silence, by digging into the void what's bothering me comes up to the surface and then I can release it. I can release the tears and then I can move forward. It really helps. It usually has a very cleansing um, effect on me and it also brings more insight. It gives me strength to hustle and really deal with the situation. So this one is for some of you that are maybe afraid of going into that silence. They're telling you to surrender and meditate and let whatever comes, come. Okay? Alright, so the last one is surrender to the habit of people pleasing. This is something that we do, we do have, that happens to us. <laughs> it's just a thing. It does happen to us. Let's see here. Speak your needs and be true to yourself. Focus on your own happiness instead of always trying to make everyone else happy. Okay. Shift the way to new potential. Manifesting and doing and fall in love with your own story. I love the last one, falling in love with your own story. <clears throat> Sometimes people-pleasing takes the shift off of us, takes the onus off of us, where we concentrate all of our energy to other people. You have another 11 here that came through. So you have 11, 11. A lot of angel power coming in in these. Manifesting and doing. So they want you to concentrate on really what you want to manifest in your life and what you want to do. And falling in love with your own story, 954. I like that. Okay, that's a potential for perfection in your own life, the 369 theory for me. And this is where they want you to shift that energy into, okay? Make yourself priority in your life. Shift what you want to do to you, okay? You are important too. Stop putting yourself in second place. Your own story is just as important as anybody else's. And they want you to make sure um, that you know this. Okay? You may not think so. I'm hearing from spirit that some of you are going, uh, I don't think so. But you know what, Pisces? You are. You're worthy of your own story. Don't be playing any bit parts in your own life. You need to put yourself first. You need to prioritize. How can you give anybody anything when you can't give it to yourself? Okay, so I'm going to pull two more cards here. Right. The Hermit. Contemplation and Wisdom. Actually, that came in reverse. 
So I would say that they're trying, stop contemplating so much whether you're worthy or not. And just take lead, okay? Focus and stability. Take the power, put it back in your house. Stop putting that hermit, okay? But it does, it's also nine if you look at it, okay? Make yourself a priority, okay? Ponder on your life, not the other. The reverse is telling me stop pondering on other people and ponder on yourself. And as well, the emperor, make yourself the focus of your life, okay? Fall in love with your own story. There's that focus right there, the emperor. Okay, focus on your own life. It's time to make yourself priority. So this card came out to whoever here is here today, is listening to this, who has not made themselves a focus of their own lives, okay? The card underneath the deck here is passion and creativity. Lead a life of passion. Be creative. Use all the tools that are available to you. Make yourself a priority. Surrender to the moment. Okay? Rise above. Take a deep breath. Renew yourself. Take a quiet moment and let intuition in. Okay? Be in the now. Meditate. Surrender to the silence. Okay? And as well, make yourself the focus of your own life. I hope you've enjoyed this healing, blessings, reading on this Sunday. Please make sure to subscribe if you haven't. I will be doing the weekly reading later on. And I'm sending you lots of love, light, and blessings, Pisces. Please like this video. Take care of yourself. And I will see you later.